Welcome to the Virtual Arts in Bloom Studio Tour. I'd like to welcome you to Under the Oak Tree Gallery, featuring Janice Chassier with Gooseness Pottery and some of her work. We also have guest artist Christina Conti. She'll be there with her paintings. Come in, take a look around, enjoy yourself, and I'll answer your questions in a few minutes. So I guess you've noticed there's wildlife, trees, plants, and there's geese. So I guess you might be asking, why trees and leaves? My functional work usually is decorated with at least one leaf, or it resembles trees and branches. As a gardener, I love when the first leaves pop through the ground. They crack the surface and they're ready to face the sun. At this stage, I think about all leaves look the same. And like children, with care, nourishment, and time, they grow up into healthy individuals. Sometimes, like people, these plants need to hang on to others for support. Twisting tendrils help these plants not only provide us with food, but for seeds with future generations. If the seed happens to be that of a tree, the outer surface of the tree changes in time, like the aging process changes our own bodies. The bark becomes highly textured or wrinkled, the tree gets larger, the color changes, and parts of the tree, like the branches and the limbs and even the heartwood, may become damaged. Even though the tree has changed, it is strong, always giving, providing food, shade, shelter, and the air we breathe. I discovered the Avera firing technique when I went to a friend's just for fun, and she was raccoon firing. I didn't raccoon but I was learning about this new technique. I never realized I would be hooked and it would shape the rest of my work. So how do you avera fire? It's usually done outdoors. There's a kiln that I had to make because my work was large and could not be accommodated in the traditional kilns. You make a brew, water with other kinds of magical ingredients. You have to have some work that you wanna fire and then of course you begin. Load the kiln up with your work, close it up of course, fire to a little bit over 1800 degrees. Take out the work and let the magic begin. Red hot kiln, sprinkle on some herbs, that piece is on fire. Get it, douse it into that magical brew. Bubbling, gurgling, turning to smoke, makes you wonder what's going to come out. Sometimes it takes two to get the piece out of the brew. And all of a sudden, this is what you do get. The solid black was painted on by me, but the unpredictable patterns, that's what sets this process apart from all others. Organic patterns and designs. Some very prominent, other times a bit more subtle. I wanted to know everything about this new process. No books were written. So I searched the internet. I found a Russian Facebook site called VK.com. There was some amazing work. And while the artists would not share their secrets and who can blame them, I did learn some of the medieval history. I wanted to be able to make this magical eye pattern that Daniel Pavelchuk did so consistently. So the experiments begin. Let's see if I can do it. Here are some geese fired using the Obera process. The mother, titled All Partied Out, has a blackened primitive surface. The babies, which were made from a mold that I made, show three completely different patterns. One has random markings. The second one has a lace-like pattern. But number three looks like I'm getting closer to the eye pattern. Obera. In ancient times, the village people of the Baltic region believed that anything that was Overa fired had magical powers. Containers fired with this process always provided enough food. It is my hope that my pieces will always provide enough. Food, 
money, love, and faith. If a verifiering always provided enough, then why not piggy banks? I'd like to have enough money. And then after piggy banks, I decided, why not chickens? I look forward to seeing you so I can show you all of my work. This concludes the virtual Arts and Bloom tour at Under the Oak Tree Gallery. Visit my website at www.goosenestpottery.com and find out why geese inspire me. Subscribe to get notifications of kiln openings. Hope to see you in November.